Good morning, Sport Marketing Sales and Promotion class. Dr. Jeff Briggs here. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about your very significant case study assignment. Let's first go into the blackboard and look at a couple of things, and then we'll zero in on our case study assignment. In Blackboard here in the course, I want to focus on just the schedule for a minute. Now, this in all classes, make sure you're following the specific schedule that we give you, particularly in the online classes. It's important that you're staying within the module, working within whatever module that we're doing, studying those materials, preparing your assignments, preparing and to finish your tests in a, a timely manner. And speaking of that, I believe we've got a test coming up fairly soon. So make sure you're paying attention to those dates of when the test is due. Now, what that means is the test is always open for you to complete. You can complete it early. It just has to be done by that date. But I want to look at the case study assignment. In module two, we have assigned to begin the case study analysis with a due date of, and the due date is listed there. I think it's important that we go ahead and get started on the case study now and maybe even over the course of our break coming up, that you're working a little bit on reviewing the case, preparing yourself, understanding the nature of the case, the logistics there, so you can begin to do your analysis. Now, in Blackboard, there is a specific folder down here on about two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way bottom, called Case Study Project. Within that folder, is no less than seven different cases that are all PDF documents listed here. Your opportunity is to select one of those cases, print the case off entirely, do a thorough review of the case, and write up a significant analysis of that to be submitted in Blackboard by the end of the term for a significant portion of your grade. Now, the best way to approach it is to download this case study project uh, assignment document that I've created for you. Let's just click on it for a minute. Just to show you, this and all assignments in Blackboard, in all my classes, I create a very nice assignment document. I either highlight and bold in or underline the things that are most important to me. I outline the things that are expected of you, the grading expectations the best processes, the best practices, how to get done what, what it is expected of you, and what is the end result. So in this particular document, you'll see I've got three or four different things identified on the pages here. I really need for you to download this right away, begin to review this carefully, so you can be aware of the parameters of the case study analysis. But let me just give a little, little um, uh, dispensation toward it. Most of those cases are 8, 10, 12 pages long. It is a real case that happened somewhere in the sport profession that deals with a marketing and advertising, a promotions, a branding, a sales, some type of matter or quandary or problem or scenario that's addressed in the case. Now, not always is the case resolved at the end. Part of the case study analysis is that you apply good marketing strategies, you, you apply good critical thinking, you apply good problem solving, and you provide options and solutions there. Your goal is to review the case, pull out the logistics of the case, pull out the marketing concepts of the case, and then write a thorough analysis where one, you're summarizing and describing those, but then two, you're going to interpret and apply those in the end, providing options or solutions to the quandary or problem, and then resolving it with application for us in the sport profession. Remember, one reason why we study cases, whether it be case study law in sport law or cases in finance, looking at an athletic department's financial um, history, or a sport marketing case, we always learn from those in the past. We always learn from the mistakes they made, the solutions they provided, the way they work through matters. So each one of these cases can teach us a great deal about sport marketing, sales, and promotions. And I want you to learn that. So let's reflect for a minute. I need you to download the case study document or the assignment document. Review it very thoroughly and carefully. And then go back into Blackboard 
and you can select any one of these seven cases that you want to do a case study analysis on. Begin to review the case. Just read it a couple times, understand what actually happened in the case. And then begin to sit down and type up your notes, logistics, the marketing stuff's embedded within it, and use my assignment document to prepare your analysis for submission by the end of the semester. As always, if you have any questions or you need anything, please contact me, uh, email me if you need anything, and don't forget to continue to work on your other assignments and studying for your examinations. Otherwise, thank you. God bless you. Have a great day.